All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. If you own a Royal Enfield and you've ever ordered anything from India, you can probably guess this is from India. They all seem to kind of package everything the same way. They just take the heck out of it. Um, inside is supposed to be, um, I ordered a custom-made seat from India by a company called Saumya. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct or not. Um, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take for them to make. Um, but they were super, super, super easy to deal with, super easy to communicate with. Um, the one thing that I did not find out um, until we open this package up right now is what it's going to look like. I know what the one looks like that I didn't want. I told them what I wanted instead. Um, so they custom made it. And... They were supposed to send me pictures, and they didn't for one reason or another. Um, so I'm not really sure what is going to be in here. I'm trying to do this one-handed because, like the amateur that I am, I don't have a tripod or anything. It's not yet. getting there basically what this is supposed to be is like a one-piece seat with extra padding and all that kind of good stuff they were supposed to custom make it to my height my weight um, the one thing it's also supposed to have that I've had on other bikes um, is a backrest I have a really jacked up back, so having a backrest is always kind of nice for riding. All right, I might have to, might have to put the phone down here for a second. I'm not sure if I'm able to get into this. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. I want to make sure I'm not cutting the seat. Alright, well there's the back rest. I can see that already, so... That's good. All right, I'm going to put the phone down just for a second, folks. Sorry. It smells pretty interesting. All right. And... There we have it. So there's the seat. There's the backrest. Uh, looks like obviously it's going to go in there. Looks pretty cool. It's got like the little release so you can take it on and off, which is pretty cool. Definitely looks wider than the factory seat, which is what I was hoping. Plus, the ones I saw on their website had kind of this deep, more bucket-type look, which is kind of what I wanted as well. And again, it is one piece, which is nice that we don't have to deal with both. Uh, so, so yeah, let's see, let's put this on or try to one-handed, which I don't think is going to happen. So let's see, maybe, <clears throat> there we go. All right, so the seat's on or the back's on. So yeah, 
not too bad. Um, I'll put a link in the description to their website and Facebook and everything. Um, like I said, it took a lot longer than I thought it was, but I mean, that's fine. Uh, when I ordered it, it was, uh, during Diwali and everything. So, you know, that was a bit of a delay cause that's a big deal for them over there. Um, once it shipped, it only took about six days. Um, I literally just got it about five minutes before starting the video. So it took about six days. Um, I'm going to take the uh, OEM stuff off real quick, and I'll do a test fitting, and I'll post up the, um, the results here in just a second. Thanks. For All right, so we're not off to a brilliant start here. Uh, as you can see, as it is, it's not going to fit. The main reason why, at least I think it's the main reason why, I have um, a larger than OEM rack on the back of the bike and where the seat realistically needs to sit is about there so you can see it's hitting the uh, that wider rack so uh, I guess what I will do is I will take the rear rack off real quick um right now i'm using my soft luggage anyway i mainly i bought that larger rack because i was playing around with my hard uh, luggage stuff that i diy'd so um i'm gonna take the rear luggage rack off again and we'll see if that solves the problem and if not we'll have to see what i can do from there thanks for watching all right uh, i had to do a little finagling to get it on but it's on um it's it's a real snug fit because um, as you guys can tell at this point I mean that's the factory rack now I don't have the plate on there because I, I took that off um, to put that thing on so as you can see I mean quality I mean it I mean it's okay I mean, like, out of the box, you can see, like, right, where's my finger, like, right there, I think it's just some glue or adhesive, though, I think that'll come off, it looks like it'll come off, um, it looks like, basically, they glued everything together, instead of using staples or whatever, which, you know, I mean, I, you know, who cares, right, um, all I asked them to do, um, was to make me a black one, the one they had listed on the website when I bought it was kind of a cool, uh, it had like white piping and like a quilted pattern. I just didn't really think that fit how rugged, you know, these bikes are supposed to be or whatever. But um, <laughs> that is, that's the seat. Um, I tried it out real quick. It's definitely, at least sitting on it in the garage, it's way, way more comfortable than the factory one. It's a lot wider which is nice, especially because of my fat ass. Um, we'll put this one up here. I don't know how much of a... So... I know this probably isn't going to be the best way to do this, but... So there's the... There's the factory seat. And this is the back, obviously. I mean, so you can tell... Let me see if I can do this to work. So, like, here's the side... And then compared to, you know, this one, I mean, again, guys, I know I'm sorry, I suck at this, but it's hard to, um, the biggest thing to note is how much wider that back portion is. I mean, again, that's the, that's the factory seat. I mean, you can see how much, hopefully you can see how much wider the uh, Salmia seat is. Um, the the back pad, frankly, I could care less. I don't I don't use it anyway. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's. Um, I mean, again, you know, it's for what I paid for it. I mean, it, it's not bad at all. I mean, something like that it easily would have cost almost twice what I paid. Um, this was about. 
280 American dollars, give or take. They were running a little bit of a discount, so I got a 10% discount for the Wally, but um, that's pretty much the normal price. They make tons of different styles. They make some that don't have the back. Uh, most of them seem to kind of use this kind of more bucket, I don't know what do you want to call it, bucket style seat, which is something I desperately really wanted. Um, because of the way that I'm built, the factory seat, even with, um, I had bought a gel cover for it. And even with that, I mean, I'm dying. Um, I did five hours, almost six hours um, in the saddle nonstop yesterday. And I mean, I, I was I was really struggling. So um, one of the main problems that I've been having is because I know a lot of the people notice this too, is like with the factory seat, there's a tendency to where when you kind of come to a stop, you always kind of tend to slide forward. So you know, but the way that I'm built, I usually find myself pushing myself against the, this this when I come to stops to kind of keep myself from sliding. With this, I can already tell I sit kind of more low and further back. And especially now that I've got the back rest, um, I think I'll be able to kind of brace myself better. I mean, again, I haven't tried riding it around yet. Like, again, I just got this. I just wanted to put it on. Um, but, the, my, you know, my initial... Um, you know, my initial... <sighs> I mean, I'm on it right now. I mean, it's it's definitely wider. Um, I can definitely feel the, the backrest, which is nice because I can actually raise it up and down. I've got it in the lowest setting right now. I mean, I would definitely raise it up. Um, I'm in the riding position now, and actually it's nice. Uh, it doesn't feel like any of my access to controls or anything is any different. Um, I mean, I'm a little, I'm, I'm about six foot tall anyway. So flat foot in this thing is not a problem anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, oh. um, you know, yeah. So, so far, um, not bad. I think, I think the fitment on the bike could probably be a little better. Um, I, you know, I never really paid a lot of attention to how the factory one looked, but I mean, you can tell there's a little bit of a gap. Now it is clicked into the lock because they do use, you know, the, the pin that has that slide on it, the slot in it. I mean, it is locked in, um, down at the bottom, you can see a little bit. I don't think the factory seat left that much of a gap i don't think it's going to be a problem again i mean if i can use my hand to try and show you guys like how much kind of wider um how much wider that is and it's actually really it's all foam um i didn't have the gel put in they you know they charge like an extra 10 bucks put a gel pad or something in um but yeah um you know, for under 300 bucks, I, I don't think it's bad. I mean, again, I, you know, I know where it came from. So, I mean, you know, most, I mean, everything I've been ordering so far has been coming from India. It's been pretty good quality. Um, I mean, the stitching and everything actually doesn't look too bad, you know. Um, and I think it's just a vinyl. Um, it's just a vinyl cover. Um, and that's the backrest. You know, but like I said, overall, I mean, you know, for the money, I mean, I, you know, I'll have to try it out once I actually put some miles on it. Um, I'll post an update. Um, like I said, it's a real tight fit, even with the factory luggage rack. Now, I didn't pay any attention in the pictures they posted for their seats. Um, maybe they took all this off. I honestly don't know. I'll have to go back and look, but um, I can't really take the racks off because, I mean, I have to at least use my, my soft luggage at least, but... Um, I mean, you can see, I mean, it's a real tight fit, but I mean, it, it, it does fit. So anyway, uh, like I said, I'll put a, um, I'll put a link where I got it at. Again, like I said, they, they were very polite. They were very, you know, every time I emailed them, they got right back to me. They, you know, they apologized for the delay and everything. Like I said, I can't complain about communication or anything like that they were really really super good and like i said once they actually shipped it uh it shipped on the 22nd today's the 28th it took six days to get here so not too bad um but yeah anyway 
um, that's it for today's little unboxing. Um, I'll probably end up selling that probably since if I, cause I mean, I definitely need to have something more of like a road sofa to keep me comfortable on because I've been doing longer trips. Um, so I'm probably just going to keep it the way it is and probably sell the rack more than likely. So anyway, well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything, posts or whatever, let me know. And thanks for watching.